Now to the latest on efforts to stabilize California's home insurance market after major insurers refused to renew policies because of the growing risk of wildfires here. As companies pulled back, more and more homeowners have been turning to California's FAIR plan for coverage. It's the state's insurer of last resort. And now industry experts are warning about significant rate increases for those who get coverage through the FAIR plan. In part, that's because the state's insurance plan now uses uses an AI-powered tool to evaluate wildfire risk. To help us break down the impact of these changes, we are joined now by Carl Sussman from Sussman Insurance Agency. He also has a master's degree in insurance management from Columbia University. Carl, we appreciate the time, as always. So let's get the bottom line here for homeowners. If they're getting their coverage through the state's fair plan, how much more can they expect to pay? Get right to it, don't you? Yeah, it's uh, well, the fair plan, as you said, is the insurer of last resort. And the, the good news, at least, is that the, the market seems to be taking a turn so that less people may actually end up needing to go there. But for people that are going to be insured with the fair plan, um, there has been a flat increase that's been approved of about 15%. Uh, almost across the board. But the big news, as you suggested, is uh, since Fair Plan began in the late 60s, it was using a different, a particular scoring feature to determine rates. And that's completely changing for the first time now. It's going to a an AI design, and they couldn't come up with a name that was going to sound more silly. It's called Zesty AI, uh, or internally they call it the Z Fire Score. And basically what it does is it's a lot more granular. You're going to have factors that will determine your cost based specifically on your house. It's not zip code, it's not territory. You could literally be paying a significantly different premium than your next door neighbor's paying. Yeah, so specifically, what, what factors is this AI tool, this modeling tool taking into account when, when it's trying to calculate the, the risk for a specific property and, and what a homeowner is gonna pay in terms of premiums? Well, it's all good, actually. It put, it's putting more control in the consumer's hands. One of the regulations that's been coming down from Sacramento is that you need to be able to charge, you need to be able to give the, the consumer more control over their premium, right? They're mandating discounts. We talked about hardening of homes, things to do to try and make it more fire retardant. And what this is going to do is it's going to look for homes that have done things like clearing brush around their house, like removing things that are touching the roof, tree branches, things like that. It's also going to look at things like how long has it been since there's been a fire in that area. It's going to look at when is the last time the roof was updated. It's going to get much more granular with regard to what it is that's going to determine the premium. It's basically broken down into two ranks one through ten one is ranking based on what the risk of the actual house is and that's the one that really is in control of the consumer so between one and ten the lower the number the lower the premium the other factor is the location of the house a little less in the control of the consumer but that again will also be a one through ten number and between those two numbers the California Fair Plan will derive a premium. All right, so you talked about the fact that the, the California Department of Insurance has approved that uh, roughly 15% rate, uh, rate increase for folks who are using the Fair Plan here in California. Is there a, a cap of any kind on, on how much these increases can be for, for people using the state's plan? Yes, uh, what Fair Plan has done to try and make it a little bit easier, uh, again, it's, it's, it's bizarre because we don't, we, we feel like we haven't had any fires this year, knock on wood somewhere, yeah. but uh, I did a little bit of research quickly before jumping on, and, and there's been a little over 5,400 wildfires in 2023 that's burned over a quarter of a million acres. So even though we don't see it every day or feel it every day, there are these fires that are happening and the Fair Plan is paying claims every day. So I was actually surprised to see uh, really only 15 percent but as far as when these new rating factors go into place and they're going into place for all business that renews after december the first mm. uh, there is a cap meaning the maximum that the fair plan can charge you over last year's premium is 100 percent which is a lot but the the idea is that you're not going to be able to see your premium go from you know five thousand dollars to twenty thousand dollars yeah. You might see it go from five to ten in the worst case scenario, but I think that's going to be really just in the outlying areas, not for the average person. All right. And before I let you go here, I want to I want to touch on something that you were just speaking about here, and that, that's the fact that we we have been seeing more people entering I into the fair plan because they they have no other options. As we see a lot of the major insurers pulling out of California, but but now we know that uh, these negotiations are going on uh, between the state's insurance commissioner, 
concessions are being made to some of those major insurance companies. Do, do we start to see uh, more people being able to, to find insurance through these major carriers uh, at sometime in the near future? What, what is your guess? Well, the best part actually is that the fact that the fair plan is now allowed to use this forward looking modeling, this is what the industry in general has been trying to do. And I, I, I believe they've set the precedent now if the Department of Insurance is permitting the fair plan to use these forward looking models, they're going to allow the independent companies to do the same. So I, my, my thinking is we're probably going to see carriers begin to re-enter the market in the next 30 to 60 days, slowly, okay. right, getting their toes wet. And by the first quarter of next year, I think we're going to have a significantly more vibrant market. And when that happens, I expect there to be a lot more competition and sort of an exodus from the fair plan of a lot of people that uh, are able to find coverage through the private market. Yeah, that's what we want, more competition to, to benefit Absolutely. individual homeowners. Carl Sussman from the Sussman Insurance Agency. Always appreciate your insight. Thank you. Thank you.